What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. I am stoked today to bring to you guys another Elite Creature Collectibles product. Today we got Gizmo in the house. Always been something I've debated in buying for a very, very long time. Uh, so many reasons, not having a good place to put it, price, whatnot. But since I moved my Mohawk Gremlin under the garage shelf, you know, there's an empty spot now and I definitely wanted a companion piece. I'm always a big fan of companion pieces. So I decided to purchase Gizmo immediately. It was in stock with, you know, Cinema Cats. They had one left, so I went ahead and just bought it. So, uh, probably these, definitely the smallest box I have from Cinema Cat. Usually their boxes are stupid big. This one is, you know, it's an okay size. But here is the box. So it just shows the statue, whatnot. Nothing super fancy. Here is the COA in this thing that's all like mangled. So yeah, put that back. I will get this framed later today. I'll go out and frame this. I got number nine of 500 though. So I'll get that framed up on the wall. Let's go ahead and open this up though. See what we got. I know a lot of you have been asking about Big Chap. Uh, Prime One has gotten back to me. There is zero replacement parts available. So that means anyone who gets Big Chap right now is out of luck if there's damage. And it seems like 99% of people do have issues. So they offered me a store credit, which I will accept because I'm not returning it as it's crucial to my collection. I may consider getting it professionally fixed if the opportunity arises. Luckily though, my damage is not visible from normal viewing. You really have to search for it. Some damages are definitely unacceptable where you really should return it. Mine, I will just take the store credit though. Guess I can apply it towards like Lurts, who I still need to pre-order. Lurts and the freaking mouse school. Alrighty, so here we have Gizmo, part of the freaking Gremlin that's been melted, and then the base. So let's get the base out first. Base is decently heavy, not super, super heavy. This will definitely fit nice and good in my spot I'm about to put it though. <laughs> bottom number nine of 500 this is a 15 inch lazy susan and oh and the plaque came off uh well came unglued this happened on my jason too so i'm gonna have to glue this back came unglued probably sitting in this hot warehouse box forever so I'll re-glue that. Same thing happened with my Jason. The metal plaque came off. The glue they use unbonds in the heat. So yeah, that's annoying. Now this only has instructions uh, for the gizmo uh, installing like batteries and whatnot. This actually came with a brush for dusting. Check that out. Never seen that on an ECC product. Now for the most part, ECC will not help you if there's issues. Like you're not gonna get a partial refund or a replacement part. They don't make replacement parts. Uh, if you have an issue, they might send you some uh, paint or they'll just tell you to glue it no partial refunds 
uh, pretty much you're out of luck when there's an issue. That is... All right. So there is little cute Gizmo. He does look fantastic. And then there's one other piece to the base, which is the Gremlin Melted Arm. So this is from Gremlins 2, if you haven't seen it. And from what I can tell, this simply just rests on the base. Yeah, it just rests there. Uh, there is actually kind of a magnet uh, holding it down. But there is that. And there is batteries included for the light-up function, which I probably will only use once. I will say this is definitely the best version. If you are going to have a gizmo, make it the Rambo one, because he was sitting there uh, binging Rambos in the movie. So that simply just rests right on top of his head. Then we have a actual pencil, which is wild. You know, like it's an actual eraser, you could use it. And this does have, this is what has the light up feature. It's two LR44 batteries that go in here. And this is instant glue that... Alrighty folks, sorry about that. Uh, but we did go ahead and get uh, Gizmo all set up here. Uh, we also glued back on the freaking Gremlins 2 logo that fell off. So this is a first for me. I have an actual ECC brush. So you can go ahead and dust this as need be. <clears throat> but let's check out Gizmo. So this base is more like a black underbase with like a marbled effect above, which does have some, uh, not really textures, but just lots of different like spots and almost, you know, very marbled look is how I view that. Which is decent. It probably doesn't match, obviously, his base. Uh, but I would probably go with something a little bit more realistic if I was to redo this. Now, I love the Melted Gremlin. That thing's amazing looking. It's a translucent resin. So, it looks absolutely amazing. Very shiny, gross looking. You got, like, different whites, yellows. You know, you can see the texture of the Gremlin. You know, that texture similar to his texture on his shoulder. Very, very cool looking. Uh, here is the portrait. The eye has goosed out. The teeth look really well done. Awesome looking eye effect. Absolutely love the melted gremlin. I think it looks amazing. <clears throat> this white ooze effect. Very gooey looking. You know, that's where his back and spine would be. The two ears. So, very, very cool. I would love if they just did something else on the actual base, and I wish the logo was just sort of a proximity piece, like the Underworld or, you know, some of the other pieces where it's like a proximity that says Gremlins to the new batch. Uh, that's probably what I would change. It has an overall good width and a decent presence even for a smaller statue because the base is so wide. So it does give it a decent presence. Now, Gizmo himself, let's check him out. There's his feet. They look good. Then, you know, he's just mostly fur, obviously. His hands look great, very detailed. The fingernails look good. And then the little pencil bow and arrow he shot with glue and fire. And the fire does light up, and I'll show that to you. Uh, there's Gizmo's face. He does have custom glass eyes. And they look really good. Well done. And then his ears, which also look really well done, the vein effect. Uh, and then this simply just rests above. So that's how he had it. Check out the back part of Gizmo. Uh, so this is a real rope that is tied. 
can see uh, the texture work in his ears and the veins look really well done. Now he's obviously very small, but this is life-size gizmo, how he'd be in real life. Very cute looking. You know, he even has, <clears throat> you can see his eyelashes even right there. Uh, it's just darker brown right there, so it's harder to see. But they look, uh, he looks really well done, no doubt. Uh, I've never owned another gizmo. This is my first, and I still think this one's the best, having seen a lot of different customs and other ones. I like this one the most. Uh, definitely looks, you know, 100% accurate to gizmo and looks really good. So I, I'm going to head out later to get that framed and put it right there. For now, though, let's put gizmo in the display and see how it looks. Alrighty, and here is Gizmo inside of a garage shelf. Again, I just need that COA. That's the only thing that's uh, like bugging me. I need to get that COA immediately. I'm gonna drive uh, to Michael's and get that immediately because I really like the way I do my ECCs with the COAs in the back. But I do really like this. I think it looks great next to the Mohawk Gremlin. And then I got the Mogwai Curio thing. So see how that looks little gizzy such a cute little creature he was the original baby yoda baby groot gizmo was the og and he's still absolutely adorable for sure i think if i could have one i would probably choose gizmo although a baby yoda that has powers would be pretty sick what would you choose if you could have a baby groot a baby yoda or a gizmo what would you choose the thing is groot sort of you know Keep in mind, they can't grow older. You get them as is. Gizmo's definitely the cuddliest, I would say. Uh, but yeah, overall, this is a fantastic piece. I do think it's overpriced. <clears throat> you know, retail is like $2,000. Shipping was not near as much as your typical ECC. But I would peg this as a $1,250 statue max, in my opinion. So I do think ECC overpriced it. Could be due to licensing costs, you know, because the Mohawk Gremlin is like, goodness nearly $3,000. That one obviously has a lot more to it. Uh, no, that one has the really cool looking printer base with a half gizmo body, plus the Mohawk Gremlin himself is substantially bigger and more detailed than gizmo. Uh, what sets gizmo apart is that melted Gremlin, which is super sick looking. Fortunately, this looks really good down low. It is not a top shelf piece. It's a piece you want to put down low because Gizmo's looking slightly up. He's pointing upwards. So it looks like he's shooting upwards. You can still see the melted Gremlin perfectly. So it just works really good down low. The Mohawk Gremlin, not quite as much. Uh, you can't really see his face as good. So he definitely goes better up high. But overall, they do look fantastic together. Definitely really good statues. Uh, so very happy to have it. Uh, just going to get that... That freaking in a little dis, you know, case right there. And then this will ne eventually be Leatherface and Ghostface. That is the <clears throat> the plan. And then that completes horror for me. Uh, well, you know, I'm going to get like a little one-tenth Chucky and whatnot. I still would love a Scarface Chucky, but I can't have two Chucky dolls. So not sure how that would work. And I don't think I'd sell mine. So probably just have to go without that. But yeah, there it is, ECC Gizmo Maquette. Very cool looking piece. I'm a big fan of Gremlins 1 and 2. I think they're classic movies. Very good. My wife loves them as well. And I still think they hold up to today's standard as very enjoyable movies. They aged well, in my opinion. And who knows, we might get more Gremlins in the future. I foresee that property coming back probably as a TV show. Anyways, folks, that is it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Next up on the chopping block will likely be... Either Prime 1 Sauron, which could be, I would think, a week away. Or Exceed Vegito versus Super Boo. Uh, I think those are probably the next two. We also potentially could get Spinosaurus in. That is set to ship this month. We got Infinity Superman Bust also set to ship. Uh, and could be any day now, technically. So we definitely have a lot of, uh, more stuff probably coming in this month, for sure. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But it's been a fantastic month so far. Uh, so, yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions below. If you are looking to buy any statues, please use the links below as it does help the channel. This bad boy is sold out. I got the very last one. So if you're looking to buy this, your best bet's eBay or Facebook. Anyways, that is it. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.